Hey Jeff, yeah. how's it going? I want to just uh, go straight in with you and Matt reuniting on Dynamite as the Hardys. Is that something that you kind of want to do as this whole run, or do you want to go singles again? Have you got plans? What are your aspirations in AEW? Not, not full run our last run. We're getting older, you know. I'm 44, Matt's 45, I'm 47. So, I mean, it's our last run. So it's going to be special, and I think AEW is the only place we can actually do that open-mindedly to, like, be free. So uh, it, it feels so good. I'm right exactly where I'm supposed to be. From a presentation standpoint of how AEW has uh, positioned itself and stuff, what's kind of been a refreshing thing for you, like, going out there and seeing how the atmosphere is and how everything is set up overall from a production standpoint? What's been a big standout for you? Watching the Young Bucks match. You don't have to worry about a 10 count. You don't have to worry about a 5 count. It's entertainment. It's physical but entertainment and it inspires me so much. I, the Young Bucks match <clears throat> the other night in Columbia was incredible. It's so graceful and just beautiful and that's, man, we can get in there with those guys and hang just, oh, and it'd be amazing and it's going to happen. So yeah, that's what inspires me as far as the freedom of like, no rules. Right. So to speak. Hey Jeff, I know it's early but has your timing so far lived up to your expectations? Oh, for sure. Not. The first time I went there, like I said on Mass Podcast, I think I felt like a I felt like a ghost in the day. Like I was just, I, I've been this cool, like, guy this 20 years off and on, but like I've just made all these influences and inspired people along the way. And I just felt like a ghost. So uh, now I feel like I'm, I'm human again. And, uh, I can, we can have this last run and be like really. Like graceful and beautiful, just like the young guys. So we can like go out on a on a good note instead of like you know just a I don't know just a legend, so to speak. That they that should be in the Hall of Fame, but I don't care about the Hall of Fame. I, I'm I'm getting lost, but yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Jeff, 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 you have a lot of new opportunities, new opponents. You enter that locker room. You're a senior. You, you're a senior member of it. Quickly. Do you feel excited to work with younger talent and work really great with and for some of those teams that maybe you and your brother want to get into? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, I mean I, the, like Luchasaurus the, uh, and, and K-Boy. Is it K-Boy? Is that right? Close enough. Is that close enough? Jungle. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Are they the champions now? Uh, yeah, there's so many teams. I mean, oh my God. So I'm super excited about the tag team. Like an uh, atmosphere of pro wrestling coming back again, like it did back when us and Edge and Chris and the Dudley Boys, like we kind of recreated the flame that is tag team wrestling. So, especially again, I don't want to kiss the Young Bucks' ass too much, but uh, I love those guys, man. They're killing the business, and I love that. How does, it, how does that feel to still be hitting swan time bombs after all these years? I mean, that's a pretty uh, high impact move. Is your style not hitting them, adjusting it all over time? Yeah, it hurts. You know, it hurts. Just like uh, it hurts the guy because. It's no longer the Swanton bomb, it's the Crouton bomb. <laughs> yeah, I said that the other night but with uh, Mark Wynn. I just, I crushed him. It was terrible. Yeah. Uh, it used to be, but actually, like, we had an indie show with uh, Enzo and Cass, and I really took care of him, man. So I rolled right off with him. It's one of those things, man. You, know, you get older, you kind of, like, lose control of certain things, so. Who's back there picking your brain? It's a new locker room, new guys. Who's back there picking your brain? Who's following you around? Who's trying to get advice from you? Nobody, man. I'm an enigma, man. Yeah, nobody. I, I say to myself, I'm kind of like, I'm a lot like, I think, John Moxley. You know, like we kind of keep, keep to ourselves, you know? And I don't know him that well, but like, I, I feel like that. Matt's more the like social guy. Yeah. I'm just, I, I, I do my thing and that's it. A couple more guys? Couple We'd more. always hear the WWE Michael Hayes is the guy that's like, can you jump off this, can you jump off that? Who was the one in AEW that said, hey, there's this wall, can you scale it and jump off of it? Darby Allen. There you go. I met Darby and I kind of marked out like big time for the first day. He said, hey man, I'm Darby. I said, hey man, I'm Jeff. Because the first time I saw Darby, like, Tony Khan actually, the first time I met him, said, there's this guy called Darby Allen. He, they're saying he's the, the new Jeff Hardy. The, and then I started watching. Oh, God, yeah, okay. And people used to say, I'm the next Sean Michaels. I don't believe in that at all. He's the first Darby Allen. But he, he found that place, and I went up there. They all went up there, and they, they felt it. And it was sketchy as hell. <laughs> and I was so scared I was going to slip and get hurt. I got two daughters and a wife I love to, more than life. I was so scared I was going to get hurt, but everything went so smooth. But yeah, Darby, Alan. Thank you, Darby. Uh, for touring stuff, how, how's it, like music and everything like that, how are you going to incorporate that while you do your AEW schedule and everything? 
I don't know. That's, that's the unknown. But tonight's very exciting because we're doing the podcast, uh, meet and greet, and then a music set, like afterwards, and some original music, man. And that's my heart, man, and my mind, you know. So I can't wait for people to experience that. Hello, go ahead. What's your vision for next in the music industry? The next album, I think, is the heaviest and darkest stuff I've ever written. I think it's going to be good, but I think the key to my success will be making the music video to this song called Manifestations, which is very dark. It's, it's about death. And uh, actually, like, to where people can actually see what I was seeing. You know? So actually committing to making the music video to the song to where the album comes out. And it's just, oh, man. And one's really evil. and. I'm, I'm so excited. It's a six-star project. Yeah. I hate to interrupt my brother, but I'm so excited to see you, man. I just want to tell you in front of everybody, really excited for you to be here. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, for sure, man. I'll see you out on stage. Yeah, I'll see you later, brother. But anyway, that's the thing. A video and the, the project at the same time, I think that's that's my way.